So good, good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to present our research paper entitled Development of an Android-Based Home Illumination System. But before I start my presentation, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Dave Michael Stadio from Computer Engineering Department of ESU, the Philippines University Laguna. So let's have my introduction. So we all know that in the world of technology and innovation, anything wired can be turned into almost wireless. For example, how we can uh, imagine that a wired telephone can be transferred into something wireless? Because we, we know that in this time of uh, uh, innovation or invention, nothing limits or it is limitless. Our imagination and uh, inspiration with different uh, technologies around there are limitless. We can work out there somehow for for example, we have this technology for this year, but what can we imagine after several years there? Right. So, in my paper, I'm gonna present a simple task that can be done into more simple tasks. So, let's proceed to the objectives. So, for the general objective, to develop an Android-based Bluetooth switch that can control switches for home lighting system using an Android smartphone. So for the specific objectives, we have to design a cost-effective and user-friendly home lighting system to develop a wireless home lighting system controlled by, a, by an Android smartphone. And lastly, the, to design a safe system to control home lighting system in for Android smartphone users and for the handicap and elder So let's proceed to the methodology. So here's the overall operation of the system. We have first the mobile phone, which is the Android-based operating system smartphone. And then from the Android app, it will be interpreted or it, it will be bridged by a Bluetooth module HC05. And then the Bluetooth module HC05 converts the, the commands from the Android to the Arduino microcontroller, which processes the commands to the relay module. And then the relay module is connected to the lightning system. So here's a, here I present you the materials and equipments that has been used in the system. We have here the Arduino Uno R3. So Arduino Uno R3 is our soul for our brain system. It interconnects all of the sensors, starting from the HC05 to the Rainy module. Next is the HC05 Bluetooth module. So it is type a mode of a module of Arduino, uh, which is program, uh, which is program master or slave. So in this paper, it is programmed as a slave, the slave module. Oh, yes, a slave. And the next is the relay module. So relay module is used to, uh, to power on or power off a certain connection. It, is, uh, it has three pins. So the first two pins is uh, normally connected and the last, uh, first two pins is normally connected and the third one is normally closed. So uh, in this paper, we used a 5 volt uh, relay module because the Arduino microcontroller expresses an output of 5 volts. So here's a schematic diagram of, uh, of our system. For, uh, we have used an 8-channel uh, relay module connected to the Arduino and supplied also by the Arduino. And uh, the AC05 is connected to their pin outputs respectively. So here's the main GUI of our system. So we have here the connection button or uh, connection. But first, the HC05 must be paired on the smartphone target of filters. And then of also, you must be up. And if you click the connection button, it will automatically connect to the HC05. And then we have here the uh, eight buttons, specified for eight channels of the uh, relays or eight switches and then there's a command to turn on all the lights and turn off all the lights. So for the results and discussion, we have here the prototype. So uh, for some simulation, we have uh, made uh, we have made the uh, prototype for of course uh, visual representations. So here's the prototype display. And for the testing, uh, we have here the prototype with some lights on. So as you can see, uh, three buttons are on, and the first, second, and the third one is on the back. So for safety, we, because we're dealing with AC switches, we have put in 
it in the project box so that uh, some unnecessary moments or for example some accidentally touching of the components is avoided. It, it is also a plastic so uh, it is insulated with each other. So here the, here is the prototype with all lights on. So as you can see, uh, all the buttons has, has been light up and it, the, the all lights are turned on. So for the conclusion, so the development of an under-based illumination system has been done by the proponents. So the application GUI or the application user interface is easy to use because as you can see, you just click connect, pair, and then bam, you can turn on uh, on or off the buttons or turn on and off separate buttons independently. So next is we have achieved an Android control system. So we all know that an Android control, uh, Android operating smartphones is almost present to all of us. And uh, Android control, uh, Android operating system is one of the most used operating systems in phones, tablets, and other uh, gadgets. And lastly, uh, we have uh, done a safety proportions, a safe and effective system because uh, we have isolated the, the system or we have isolated the project on a certain container to avoid uh, unnecessary accidents. And it is effective because in a tap of a finger, you can turn on and off a switch. So this ends my presentation. Thank you very much.